Hey, it's Kurt from Maya Music. Uh, I've watched the first video that AJ did regarding the launch pad. Um, and I got questions. AJ, over on the right hand side of the screen, there's a bunch of buttons that talk about song mode and tempo and looping and not looping and all kinds of stuff. Can you help me out and show me more about all of those buttons? That's a very interesting question, Kurt. Let's just dive in to the launch pad and see exactly how that works. All right, follow me. Good day and welcome once more to this continued series of our Launchpad presentation. In this segment, we're going to talk about the features that are available in the Launchpad, pretty much what's going on over here and how much control you have over the pads. Again, remember, these pads could either be MIDI data that you bring in yourself or MIDI data from the banks of the SD9, SD90, SD60 or audio data. So in this example right now, I got two WAV files over here, okay? So for the, sake of the, for the sake of the demonstration, let me turn that off just for now. And this is pretty much what I'm gonna play. Again, this is a style, these are all style parts, okay? I do that and I want to add a wave file. I got two wave files in there, okay? Let's ch check them out and see exactly what's going on. So this is how you incorporate your audio elements again into your pad your launch pad. Live drums. Now, it's very interesting. That's on scene one. I can now go into scene two, for an example, and I have different parts that I've assigned into scene number two. So, scene three, similar stuff. I got different wave files in there. Now, why am I showing you all of this? Because in scene one, what have I done in scene one? I have different WAV files in scene one. In scene two, something else. In scene three, something else. So if I'm playing this, you know, during a live performance, it'll sound something like this. Now, what's interesting about this, I may want to use the auto chord function on here, okay, and record that progression so I don't have to do it over and over again. That's very, very easy. I go into the bars, I can set that to be maybe like four bars. In other words, I wanted to loop every four bars, turn on the auto chord, and I can play the progression and record that at any given time. So as soon as I hit the record button, it starts to record. After the fourth bar, it's over, it's now recording by itself. So, scene number three has that chord progression going, okay? Now watch this. I'm going to come back into scene number one, and I'm going to record a different chord progression, okay? I'm going to go in again and make that four bars, turn on the auto chord, and watch this. Start recording now. mistake so I can do it over again again this is being done live right so if I do this I'm gonna just go back and re-record over this guy here we go Okay, so I got that progression in there. Now, what about scene number two? 
I can come into scene number two and do something a little bit different. Now, let me check out what's in there first. I'm going to turn off these tracks, turn on that guy, and see what we have in there. Beautiful. I'm going to turn that back on again. And again, this is for my guidance, so I can know exactly what I'm doing. Again, this is building stuff in from scratch. Of course, you have to record your different sections, or you can bring in those sections from the style. Okay, but for the sake of our demonstration, this is what we have right now. I'm going to go ahead and record, in this case, also four bars, okay? And I'm going to turn on that auto chord. So here we go. So, all right, that's number three. Here we go. One, two, three, four. So, why am I showing you this? Because now I'm going to go in to what we call song mode. Right now it's turned off. If I go and go into edit the song mode, I can bring in the different scenes in here, okay? So I can right now add scene number one, and I want that to repeat for how many bars, okay? So I want to go, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, okay? So I want to put a 16 in there, okay? And you can try it out yourself. You can, of course, test this out. I want to add, um, no, maybe I'm going to make that 8 because there wasn't much going on in there. I want to add scene number 2. And I want that to play for, let's say, what, 8 bars, okay? Let's just say. And I want to go add scene number 3, okay? And I want this guy to play for 16 bars because I had a lot more changes going on in there. But then, again, this is just for demonstration purposes only. And I can say, okay, at the end of that repetition, do I want it to stop or do I want it to go over and over and over, okay? If I leave it this way, it's going to go back, play this guy, play this guy, play this guy, go back to that guy, okay? Single. If I want this to go as a loop, for an example, keep looping and looping and looping or single shots. In other words, just play it once through. So I'm going to say okay to this guy, all right? Now, if I go to song mode on and I hit start, it should follow the progression of what I asked it to do. I'm not playing anything, I'm not touching anything, and it's going through different scenes and playing exactly what I wanted to do. It's playing the chord progressions, and at any given time, okay, I can interject that. Again, the priority is given to the player. If I turn off the song mode, now I take over the machine, okay? Turn off the auto progression. Go back to the chord progression, turn back on. Now my hands are free to play live guitar. Always override that so you can see what we're doing. The auto chord progression governing that particular scene tells you what to play in that scene which you recorded. Every scene can have its own chord progression and of course I, when I go into song mode that's where the magic is in chaining the scenes. I want this scene to play for how many bars? That one to play for how many bars? This one how many bars? When I get to the end of this what should I do? Should I just stop playing? 
which I, I guess I will have to turn on the stop or loop it again. Do I want to play one time single, play everything through, or do I want to hit loop, play everything through over and over and over again? So in the next video, we're going to talk about the other sections of the Launchpad. Very, very powerful tool indeed.